and uh, welcome to uh, Healthy After 60. Just uh, making a dinner here that's going to consist of a, uh, a cheeseburger. Interesting what I did with this cheeseburger. I cooked it in the air fryer for 12 minutes and uh, I actually kept some bacon grease from, uh, this, from uh, earlier today when I had lunch. I had a, a turkey wrap with some bacon and I kept the bacon grease from that and I kept that in the air fryer and uh, use that uh, while I cook this burger. It's going to be interesting to see if it affects the, uh, the flavor of the burger. It's got some melted uh, cheddar cheese and some uh, quite a bit of guacamole that I'm having as kind of the, uh, is the vegetable with this burger. I'm also going to be later today, I'll be uh, having a green smoothie that'll have uh, both uh, kale as well as red beets, turmeric, as well as uh, chia and flax, almond milk as a base. And so uh, that's kind of my dietary plan for the rest of the day. <clears throat> I actually want to, want to actually uh, do a, a test of my, with my keto meter and I uh, just have to let it warm up. And uh, the reason I wanted to do that is um, I was a little disappointed today, and I'll, I'll talk about that, when uh, my, my keto or ketone level was uh, much lower than uh, I, I wanted it to be. Now I'll talk about what uh, I concluded from that. Yeah, so this is the... Uh, a ketone meter I purchased on Amazon a couple of weeks ago and as you can see I'm back up to 1.2 I'm really happy about that because earlier today uh, I did my test actually this morning and I was at 0, 0.0 and uh, I concluded ironically I was talking with my nephew he had a very similar revelation as well but I concluded from looking at my ketosis logbook that I've uh, created by using my ketone meter, that on occasion I've had I've had uh, 0, 0.0, and uh, here is uh, on uh, March 15th I tested zero, and that was at my morning test, just like this morning, and it said perhaps last night's dessert took me out of ketosis. Well, what did I have for dessert that eve or that uh, night before? Turned out I had my uh, favorite, uh, what I think is a keto-friendly dessert, but uh, it does knock you out. Of, I'm concluding it's knocking me out of ketosis, and that is uh, an egg white wrap with some peanut butter, uh, all natural organic peanut butter, and some strawberries. Quite a few organic strawberries. And I had that for dessert yesterday, and I had it on, a, on March 15th, and uh, I tested zero the next day. So now going uh, forward, the, uh, the next test that uh, I had uh, a zero, and that was on 324, which was this morning, I said, my breakfast is three hard-boiled eggs ba and bacon, I'm not sure why I'm not in ketosis. And then I thought about it, and then I uh, concluded perhaps it's related to the strawberries that I ate last night. I actually had, after my dinner, I had a few strawberries. I had a, a, real, uh, <clears throat> um, a real taste for strawberries. So, and I rationalized that it would be okay. Those strawberries were getting a little older and I didn't want them to go bad, so I uh, cut them up and, uh, and put them on a, in a little bowl and had some strawberries. Well, in between lunch and dinner yesterday, I had one of my famous egg white peanut butter and strawberry uh, just kind of snacks. And then uh, today I put, perhaps it is related to the strawberries. The clue phone was ringing, and I think I finally uh, really have concluded that it was related to the strawberries that I ate last night. And, uh, and I said, uh, I had about 10 uh, organic strawberries uh, after dinner, 
And then I had a uh, peanut butter and strawberry for a snack between lunch and dinner. And so the conclusion is as much as I like strawberries and I really do like strawberries I've got to be aware of the fact that when I have strawberries they uh, they really have the potential and they will knock me out of ketosis not immediately that's the interesting thing these slow carbs that um, are in those uh, strawberries that uh, it'll be felt like the morning after and uh, my nephew who also is on the keto diet he found he was actually two pounds heavier this morning after uh, having a strawberry and whipped cream kind of a ice cream kind of a snack and uh, he concluded uh, that it was also the strawberries and of course knocking him out of ketosis he doesn't have a meter but if he was knocked out of ketosis then that, real, that whipping cream really works against them too because those calories are not going to be burned as fuel but they're going to turn into fat and uh, wind up uh, actually making him unhappy when he stands on the scale. And so without any further ado, I'm going to get to this dinner which is um, this uh, hamburger with cheddar cheese and avocado uh, or actually I should say guacamole that's it. I'm not going to have any snacks tonight. I'm really hoping to stay in ketosis. I've been using my meter now for a couple of weeks, and I found that the only time that I knock, I get knocked out of ketosis is when I have that strawberry uh, snack. And so it's something that I definitely need to look out for, something I want to make you aware of, and uh, just uh, ironically something that both my nephew and I uh, were discussing today is, uh, is knocking him out of his uh, downward weight uh, progression and knocking me out of ketosis. And so this has been Healthy After 60 and uh, sharing a, an epiphany with you, I guess a, a strawberry epiphany. And uh, certainly want to uh, thank you for viewing and I uh, hope you uh, find this content to be useful. If you do, please subscribe. And I'd uh, love to have some comments and uh, hear what you, uh, what you think of the content, either good or bad. There are certainly any kind of comments you want to make would be valuable. It'll either be taken uh, very uh, gratefully or constructively. This has been Healthy After 60. Thanks for viewing and stay safe.